for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to expand display adapters. And then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on set automatically for drivers. You want to make sure that the best driver has been installed for your graphics card. If it hasn't, then you want to install it. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates that you may have on your computer. For the third step, you want to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to make sure that your CPU usage and your memory usage is not extremely high. If it is, then it might be in the red zone. But to see which applications are using up the most memory or CPU is you want to click on memory or CPU and then it will tell you right here which applications are using the most. If you don't need the application, then you can click on it and then click on end task. You also want to head over to the startup app section and then you want to disable all the apps that you don't want to start when your computer turns on. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on disable. And then the status will have changed to disabled. Once you do everything in this video, you want to open up Valorant and then see if the crashes have been fixed. But if it's not been fixed, then we're going to head over to search and type in add remove programs. Click on it. Then you want to scroll down until you find either Riot Games, Vanguard or Valorant. No matter which one you see, you want to click on the three dots and click on uninstall. Uninstall it and then just reinstall it again. And then you want to try Valorant again. But if you're still getting crashes, then you want to make sure that your computer hardware matches up to the recommended specifications that Valorant requires. If it doesn't, then unfortunately, you're just probably going to have to upgrade your computer.